Hello, and welcome to a Differences Primer. Maximo 7.6 becomes Maximo Manage in Application Suite. Let's review some of the key differences so you can quickly acclimate yourself to the new navigation. My name is Chris Winston from Project Tech. I'll be here using Manage 8.1 in Firefox 93 as the browser. Feel free to post questions in the More community at moremaximo.com. And as a reminder, this again is just a primer and is no substitute for formal training. But let's get out of PowerPoint, get into Maximo. All right, on the left, uh, 7612. On the right, Maximo Manage 8.1. Again, both are using Firefox. Um, both are here at 100% uh, on the resolution. So you'll see some obvious differences in contrast and color, but also uh, individual uh, fonts are typically a little bit larger in terms of the applications, uh, the workflow inbox, just in general uh, navigation vertically you may need to scroll more because there's also you know in addition to larger font there's greater spacing between rows so you will you know again navigate a little differently if we take a look at some of the other things that are here and just looking at your icons right across the top on the navigation they are a little bit different but your bulletin board so your bulletin board reports list still there um, sign out is not here anymore. I'll talk about that in a second. Help still there. Your profile's there. And then you have this new application switch icon. So let's get that out of the way for the moment. All right. With this, uh, an application switch, in case you have access to more than manage, you know, uh, maybe have health or predict, monitor, etc. Those are going to be here under your profile, which you you use manage profile default information and so on that's where you're going to see your traditional logout if you do want to actually log out as opposed to switching applications and it's my guess they got rid of the sign out or moved it uh, so that you don't inadvertently sign out when you really want to switch applications uh, bulletin board works effectively the same way um, so you'll see message uh, yep. Got to reload. Probably waited too long. So you'll see message. You'll be able to dig into it. Once you see it the first time, it was on your bulletin board and you had the one indicator or some number. And uh, this is on your bulletin board portlet. When I go ahead and refresh, it's gone away. However, the default view just says you haven't viewed it yet. You can always change that and bring it back. Same functionality that you had and you have in 7612. Uh, another thing you'll notice, um, the even though I've gone to this sort of half, this half width screen, the controls have come onto the window, uh, similarly for the Star Center. Whereas in 7612, I've got to actually scroll them over. Uh, there's more active focus on bringing things into the window regardless of the size of that window. Icons look a little bit different. Um, let's see those and we'll see these. So icons look a little bit different but they're also a bit more universal or standard. Um, settings for example looks like a gear typically the same setting symbol for a phone or most anywhere else so we look at create a new template very much like create a new record uh, new work order new purchase rack etc pencil icon in this case to modify or to edit so trying to bring things more into a more universal type uh, of, of display and icon. Let's go back to 100%. All right, and let's look at the application in full screen. 
So you have your your controls on your Start Center portlets still work pretty much the same way uh, and look mostly the same. Not much difference there. Um, workflow inbox is going to work the same way. You'll have your KPI graphs. If you have multiple KPIs, they'll display. The display and the contrast will be a little bit different. Its colors will be a little brighter. But everything's pretty much still in the same place. So let's take a look at an. Oh, sorry, let's go ahead and make a change here. We'll just add. Oh, we'll add something to a portlet. All right, so we'll take the security portlet. We'll throw in. Ah, yes. Actions. So traditionally you had them below. Now you have them above. Select action. And you'll note the contrast, the actions button is very bright, easier to see. And we'll find labor. Okay. Um, one other here for select. You'll notice these toggles, in this case, is mobile. Select value, very much just it's a yes no still. Uh, and if I find any, I can. Yep, got a few a few mobile applications. So you'll see this new sort of toggle instead of the checkbox that will be present uh, in Maximo. Um, you'll also notice your indicator for records. In this case, one to five of five is on the bottom of the table, no longer up here in the top middle and your VCR buttons for moving a page at a time. And we'll, we'll take a look at this again. We look at an application, it'll have a larger list of records. Finished will be up here in your actions as well. And then that, of course, takes us back to the Start Center. All right, let's take a look at an application. Let's try, ah, before we do that, let's talk about this. So navigation, very much the same as you hovered over a module, your applications cascade out to the right. In this case, as you hover, uh, you'll get the modules to cascade out to the right. You can select, and then when you select one, if it's got a long list, you'll get a scroll bar. You can use that to, to move down and navigate. You can also use your mouse wheel if you have one uh, on the mouse. And we're going to go ahead and hop into work order tracking. And we'll see a little difference here. Um, what you'll notice again, and actually, let's go look at work order tracking over here as well. All right, from uh, the individual uh, find, in this case, find work order, over to your direct print buttons, uh, this entire toolbar that's mostly left justified is now mostly right justified. Uh, the search menu that you have is gone. So the things that are on the search menu uh, that are here under advanced search, safe query, and so on are also here in the quick uh, search. So you can do the same thing and manage with the vertical ellipsis, which will get you to the same place or perhaps even more selections um, within manage. So you still have the same capability, just moved. And all of these have moved off, um, more or less right justified. But as you can see here in this narrower window, they have come into display so you don't have to scroll left and right. You're just scrolling left and right to look at records and the filter fields, not at the controls. And let's look at some records. And the other thing I mentioned is your indicator at the bottom and your VCR buttons are at the bottom. So you may need to scroll for those depending on your display. Security rights that you had before, if you upgrade, you'll still have the same rights. Uh, so that's all going to be available to you. But let's look at Find Navigation. And Find Navigation is going to work a little bit different inside an application. So I'm inside the application. Let's say I want to go to Purchase Requisition. Mm. Mm. Not working. That's because, uh, in this case, your find navigation item is find navigation item within this 
list of actions and queries. The find navigation item on the module bar will find like it does today in 7612. It looks for everything basically that you have access to and we'll find it from that list. All right, so we'll pop over to purchase requisitions. I need to find a requisition. Let's go ahead and use the more search fields. Uh, I know I put it in today, so I'll just use yesterday to search. Mm, that looks like it. All right, so labels are above um, the field. Fields tend to pop out a little bit better. Um, larger space for them and again you'll see the the toggles inside the application uh, as well and this one let's see it is not approved so let's first get a vendor and let's go get some lines actually let's save right I automatically went for save it's over here but it's not in this version it's over to the right Actions, right? Remember all those buttons that were here? Well, they are now here. And if you don't remember, uh, we can always go ahead and look. Uh, advantage of having them both up and handy. And over to the Lines tab, and there they are. Right? So in this case, they're just somewhere else. All right, but they still function the same way. Look at vendor items tied to this vendor. Uh, let's grab, we'll get a couple of those maybe, or just one. And if they have something under contract, you can look at contract items as well. Uh, and you can actually go ahead and just add something new. You can select from the list of things you can select from and continue to fill them out. So let's do, and that can't be the only thing I'm missing. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and save it. Let's see what other errors we may have. Conversion factors missing on every record. Look at there. So have our icon indicate the row that has the problem so we have the tab table and row all identified and we scroll down to where the area is we know it's conversion factor because it was told to us in the message the icon uh, still works gives you more detail and confirms it but it's sitting right where the cursor goes so I'm sure somebody will work on that scroll down I probably could have done this with fewer rows uh, let's go and here's another one and there's the last one so we should be able to save it and let's see do I did I put enough money on here yeah it looks right all right so if I need to go ahead and route it into workflow process started and our record 1036 let's see if it showed up uh, looks like it might be that one review for approval hey okay, 1036 workflow works the same way toggle to show the message hit ok you can go ahead and do your review as normal uh, and perhaps even route to the next step so Again, the functionality is here. You just need to get used to the fact that some of it has moved around. Um, the module bar, as you hover, whether you come in from the top or you know, from the bottom, it's going to cascade out. Uh, the hamburger button will actually move everything to the right. So still the same function, and it's up to you as to how you use it. The module bar is essentially moving in a new way uh, really gives you a little bit more control over the display and it is naturally mostly out of the way while you're in the application um, beyond this there's also every place so 
we will take a look at the mobile start center which there it is just had to scroll down to get to it so every place pretty much the same um, still support it I'm not sure how long and you'll see the same functionality as it had before so no side navigation not even the new site navigation uh, fewer controls but you still have all the same capabilities uh, you know if you want to take a list to the application you want to open up an individual record you can realign the fields for example well it doesn't look like I have right access to this but um, you know normally you'd put the work order probably to the left so you can still edit those things uh, when you have the administrate rights to do so and if you select on a record it'll take you into whatever that application is that's configured for every place again um, vertical labels so configured for perhaps a phone uh, the thing that is different that comes with manage is again that tool those toolbar icons have shifted to the right your list of queries again is shifted to the right it's not over here to the left you still have the more search fields and other options and if we look further down the thing that didn't change is the buttons for actions in you know labor material and sub tabs um, or in the task sub tab are still on the left side so there isn't an actions button so you'll notice this looks a little bit more like 7612, whereas in the rest of the application, it has more of the managed look uh, and feel with the black contrast as opposed to um, the blue, which looks a little bit more like 7612. But every place is still here and is still supported. So if there are again questions um, please feel free to post them in the more maximal community and in fact oops gonna spell it right what you will also see is that resources including this video will be posted in the application suite that you'll be able to access without logging in so you don't need to be a member to find it Thanks very much and happy navigating in Maximum Manage.